Welcome, welcome my viewers to the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. This is Pastor Florence. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for you, for the time you take to listen, to watch, to practice what you learn, to share with other people, to remember me in your prayers. Maybe you could be saying from the bottom of your heart and being sincere that you don't pray for me. It's okay. I'm just reminding you. It's important you pray for me. Today is one of those days I bring you inspirational word for the month. Today being Wednesday, we have double grace and double blessing. First and foremost, it is the first day of the month of May. And so I'm going to be bringing you the prayers we normally pray and then I'm going to we're going to connect it together with the moment with uh, by Hannah Waja all the way from Kenya as we commit this day, this month to God in prayer every day, then we'll be able to be connected with the boy child uh, focus. And I know it will be a blessing. I'll be basing my sharing from the book of John 3, 16. We all know it. But let's first of all start with regular prayer. And I want to say time and again, I will remind you, there is nowhere the Bible tells us that we should close our eyes when we are praying, but we close our eyes to avoid distraction. In this case, so I'll be when I'm be bringing every day to God in prayer, I'll be opening up my eyes in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this first day of the month of May. I want to thank you because it's by your grace. And so I pray for my fear and my reasoner that he or she will come, know the secret or start this secret of committing every day to God in prayer. Thank you, dear Father. I leave it all to thee, dear Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O oh God. Even as I connect with my sister, Waja, O oh God, continue to bless us even as we focus on the boy child. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My weekly schedule in a snapshot Monday through Wednesday is Inspirational Word. Thursday, celebrating in the kitchen. Friday is putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I take a break so that you and I can be able to be in the house of God. We say like David who said I was glad when they said that to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And now, over to commit to this day, we do it to God in prayer this month, to God in prayer this week, to God in prayer in Jesus' name. Let's go. Father, I thank you for the month of April, for the month of May. Thank you because it's the month of double grace. Thank you because it's the month that we remember the love you had for us. Thank you for the first of May. Thank you because it's Labor Day in my country. God, I pray that each person will desire to work hard to be able to enjoy this holiday well, with a lot of sincerity and transparency. Thank you for 2nd of May. Thank you for that of May. Thank you for May 4th. Thank you for May 5th. Thank you that May 5th will be 5-5-2024, double, double 5, which is like double grace. Thank you for May 6th. Thank you for May 7th. Thank you, Lord, for May 8th. May 9, dear Lord, is in your presence. Thank you for May 10. Thank you for May 11. Thank you for May 12. Thank you for May 13. Thank you for May 14. Thank you for May 15. Thank you for May 16. Thank you, Lord, for May 17. Thank you, Lord, for May 18. Thank you for May 19. Thank you for May 20. Thank you for May 21st. Thank you for May 22nd. Thank you for May 23rd. Thank you for May 24th. Thank you for May 25th. And when I reach May 25th, I pause with a lot of humility because it's the day I said I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. On May 25th, hey, and it was 10.30 a.m., I can be able to join the singer who sing, Happy day, happy day, when Jesus took my sins away. Thank you for May 26. Though it comes with happiness when I lost my mom. But I thank you because your grace has been sufficient. Thank you for May 27. Thank you for May 28. Thank you for May 29. Thank you for May 30th. Thank you for May 31st, being the last day of this month. I thank you, Lord. And even for my fear and my reason, I pray that they may be able to embrace this secret to be committing every day of the month to you in prayer. May 1st to May 31st, I bring it to thee as a package. A day in, day out. 
that the sun rises and the sun da or, or goes down. That your presence, your guidance, your protection, your provision, your joy, your peace, your strength shall be my portion for the glory and honor of thy name. Not only my portion alone, but the portion of my few and my listener. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It has not even taken six minutes, but I also want to bring you this before I, I take it I take it over to Hannah Waja me what is number five number five celebrates God's grace and what's God's grace God's grace is favor that you do not deserve it also celebrates the goodness of God number five it celebrates the favor towards man number five is recorded three forty five times in the scripture. Can you imagine that? That in, in this month of May, number five is the year of, is the month of grace. The number of grace, the year of grace. That you'll get things that you do not deserve. But just by the grace of God, you'll receive. And since now, number five represents grace, when it's multiplied by itself, it brings number 25, the day that I accepted the Lord. I don't know the significance of that to you, but to me, it means a lot. Then I can join the singer who sang and said, Nimone nya wa mo nya ka o si o jeso a deriria ni we ume ni de tie qui huga na kuhoya mu venya muega ma o si a jeso ha veridie it was a day i'll never forget i was in high school the message went forth i had heard the message of the course many times not until this time when the one who was preaching was preaching about razaras and the rich man my brother, my sister, it's a good thing to know the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior. And because of that grace, because of this month of May, I want to thank God that he has touched, he has given a burden to, to my sister, one of my mentees back in Kenya, Hannah Waja. The burden to be sharing, focusing on the boy child, I never told her. But it came so significantly, started the, last month, April. I would like you to be following on Wednesday. So today, being the first day of May, we are going to connect it together to the focus on the boy child. And now over to you, Hannah Waja. May the Lord God bless you. Thank you. Hello good people, how are you doing? Today is a great day, another day that God has given unto us. This is our third episode. Yes, and I thank God for you who is watching Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. This is the moment show where I bring it to you every Wednesday. I thank God because he has given us another new month. Like Madame Florence has said, yeah, she has invited us to a new month and I'm grateful to God that we have a new month. I'm grateful to God, to you who have seen this new month with me. We should be grateful. Before we continue, let's first thank the Lord for the new month. Thank you, King of all glory, God, for another new month that you've given unto us, O oh dear Jehovah Lord. Despite the hardships that we have been going through, the, despite the weather, Jehovah Father, King of all glory, God, you've made us see this new month of May, O oh King of all glory, God. We pray that you may bless this month, Jehovah Lord. May it be, may it be a turning point for most of us, O oh dear Jehovah Lord. May it be a turning point for us, O oh dear Jehovah Lord, to testify of your gratefulness, King of all glory, God. Be our guide, be our protector, Jehovah Father, Lord, we also pray, sir, 
Madam Florence, before your able hands, oh dear Jehovah Lord, as she continue mentoring us, oh dear Jehovah Lord, may your heart flow in her, oh dear Jehovah King of all great God. May your people open their hearts, oh King of all great God, so that they can understand the word, Jehovah Lord. Even as we begin our new topic this day, oh dear Jehovah Lord, we pray that you may be with us, give us the heart, oh dear Jehovah Lord, that we'll accept to listen to your word, oh King of all great God. And if you do that, glory and honor be unto you. In Jesus' name we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. Yes, I'm your host, Hannah Wanja. I'm taking you through the moment. And I told you that in the moment show, we are mainly facing of the boy child. But today I want us to look on something, today's topic, and what we shall be discussing till the, the, days, the, the future days. Uh, it's all about everybody, both the genders, the male, the female, but mostly the male gender. I, I don't know why I had to do about the boy child. I don't know. But I feel there is something we need to change. There is, there is something that is connecting me to the boy child that we need to look on the other side of it. Yeah, we have put the curtains, we have locked the doors, we have shut their dreams down, but there is something God is trying to talk to us about. The boy child has been forgotten. We are always talking about the girl, the girl this, the girl that, the girl this. What about the boy? Yeah, they are the leaders of today. We saw that the only person that God gave us to the only child that sacrificed his own life because of us, because of our sins, was a boy. Why then are we forgetting about the boy child right now? And so today's topic is mainly face is mainly based on drowning. I know most of you are thinking about drowning in water, drowning in I don't know, swimming. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that drowning. There is this part of drowning that you we don't understand best. There is this drowning. Yeah, somebody is you you you, you let's talk about let me first give you an example you can drown in drunk drunkenness yani unakunywa hadi unasahau hii dunia ni nini unasahau wewe ni nani unasahau watu wenu ni akina nani you forget everything because you are drunk you can drown in depression yani tu unaanza tu akina sikia niko na stress and then boom you're suffering from depression aya unakaka Una drown into poverty. Sikupenda kwa kwa you're just like ah. Sasa nitadu. Nimetafuta, nimehassle. Ndu hiyo gava inachukua, inachukua. You've drawn into poverty. But we don't know how to get off this drowning. How do we escape the drowning? You know. Vijana wetu saai, the boy child. They are drowning because not that they don't know. They don't have somebody to hold their hand. Sahi wasiana wengi wana drown seat ya wajui wana jua lakini tunawa push to the end at the ah sasa ona ile me kapa me paka ona ile wiga me okay ameva a love what next are you going to help them buy a new one or what are you going to do to them? You're just talking. Okay, others are drowned with what people say. Today I want us to look from the book of Job. Job chapter 30 and verse 26 it says Yet when I looked for good evil came when I expected light darkness came When I looked for good yani ile time that time when you are you are really looking forward for something good to happen then boom everything come crashing and you're like, okay, where did I go wrong? You start questioning yourself. You start losing faith. You start losing hope. Mbona, that is the book of Job, chapter 30, verse 26. I don't know how I got that one, but there's something that is telling me. Somebody is drowning out there. Not that they know, but they don't know. And there are others that don't know, and they want to know. Today, I'm going to face mainly about drowning. Most of the people right now are drowning into depression. Why? We don't know. Wanafikiria, pia mina fikiri anga. But sijafika yu extent ya kufika kwa depression. 
but there are those others who are doing the thinking but unapata in our push to the limit most of them are most people are doing things to start to satisfy others others are doing things to satisfy themselves but they are not reaching to that point about umona in the word the bible has said we are looking for good but then evil come these people are trying to face the future but then when they are facing it there are these kuna zile to challenges yani you see it's like when you're planning to go to a job interview and then you're waiting you're really waiting and they're asking god to help you and then ikifika hiyo siku kunanyesha it starts raining the, the roads are all blocked unachelewa interview huyo msata hataki kukuona ukimpigia simu atakuchukuli simu like sikupenda kwako it may happen to you start drowning unaanza ku sleep off like you know like sliding away your mentality ko like okay god it was not my fault what happened you know some things some of these challenges are pushing us to uko uko kwa kona i don't know what corner they are pushing us to you are really trying your best to prove to everybody that you can make it in life and then kuna aka kasheta from nowhere eh ana kama na yeye anakuambia no hana it's not that way it's this way haya tunaanza mabash we start going out we start going drinking nini you see there is that one thing that keeps you away from your success there is that one thing that puts you away from godliness but how do you fight that that is what we're talking about drowning and from today we shall look about drowning in a very big way so like today we have discussed about drowning into depression how do we tunatokaje kutoka kwa hiyo ku drown tuna ndio tuache kukua unajua like we are talking of the boy child right now if we look at the, the number of people in hospitals sai wanaume ndio wanatuongoza CAT the men are leading us and not men not old men vijana 2019 18 17 those are the people who are leading us in hospitals why because these people kuna kenya walikuwa wanatafuta but they lost their way let me give you a break when you're coming back we shall continue discussing more but i want us to first discuss it before i come back so go to the comments comment apo tuambie kitu talk to a boy talk to that man out there who is losing hope muambie ka kitu you know ebu mkumbushe we said we are going to keep reminding them eh? they can they can do what they want they can make it in life keep reminding them remember this is the moment show with your host hana wanja thank you so much to, for you to keep watching celebrate your moment with joy Hello guys, welcome to celebrate your moment with joy. Remember that every moment counts and every moment matters. And this is the moment show brought to you by Hana Wanja. And today we are discussing about drowning could drown like you go and everything you know yani una feel too umefirisika ume umekufa umevunjika you know that feeling ile ka feeling ya sasa nani atanisaidia kuinuka who will take me from that point i am to to lift my soul up anyway i'm here to remind you and to tell you that aduta kubali ku drown tena we won't allow drowning to take over us again so we have looked about we have looked in the book of job chapter 30 verse yes verse 12 and we have seen that whenever we are looking for the good side the evil shows up but when when we feel low ile time unajisikia uko chini shuali unafanyanga nini when you feel your low when you feel you're losing it where do you first face before we head there i want us to read in the book of psalms psalms chapter 
139 verse uh, from verse 11 to 17. Okay, verse 11 it says, If I say, surely darkness shall hide me and night shall be my light. Darkness shall not dark shall not dark for for you and the night shines as the day. Darkness and light are are but one. You formed me, you formed my innermost being. You need you need me in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm wonderfully made. Wonderful wonderful are your works. My very self you know. My bones are not hidden from you when I have been made in secret, fashioned in the deep deep fashioned in the deep earth of the earth. Your eyes your eyes show me unformed in the book in your book all are written down. My days were was shaped before I came to be. How precious to be me are your designs, O oh God, how vast how vast the sum of them. Praise be to God. In that verse, in that verse, there's this part that says in verse, verse 13. No, let's start from verse 11. Yeah, I say, surely darkness shall not hide me, and night shall not, shall, and night shall be my light. Those are the words of your mouth. When you talk, when you prophesy, you know, there's this prophesying about your life. Me, I will prosper. For me, I'm going to grow. I won't remain to the position I am right now. I'm going to go ahead. That is prophesying. The words of your mouth, your mouth will take you to higher ground. The words of your mouth will save you from drowning. Yeah. Most people right now have talked about depression. It's not their will. They never knew. It is not. It they ne You know, God had a plan for us. In verse, in verse, in verse sixteen, your eyes saw me, and saw me unformed. In your books are written down. My days were shaped before I came to us. So these people never knew that they even we ukipata homo na juango tapata homa. No, you never knew. Like the rains that are raining right now, everything is. There is havoc everywhere. Did we know that it's going to rain? Yeah, the weather people were saying it, but we never expected it to be like such. So everything was written down. And then we have talked about creation. And yeah, do you know how beautiful you are? Do you know how handsome you are? Acha na itu na at your mother will tell you leave the other boys and girls to know. In ya kutoka kwa Bible. See Mimi actually I've read from the Bible. Let me read it again. Inasema, how precious to me are your designs. Eh, sasa design is me. <laughs> you see this black beauty, this lady seated here, eh? That is his design. That is his work. Oh God, how vast how vast the sum of them. When? Yes, how vast is the sum of them. See, me, me, peke angu. See, I'm dizzy jambo, peke angu. We have been told how beautiful. Have you ever sat and looked at yourself in the mirror and you're like, I like this black beauty, eh? Is on macho, the nose, my mouth, yo. Ata ikuwe kubo, ikuwe ndogo, ikuwe hauna. Yote ni mungu alikupe na alijua sababu. Alikuwa meandika, hey, Hannah, you'll be born on this day. You'll happen this way. You know, all that. So, don't let yourself drown. Do not drown, eh? If you feel like you're drowning, can you go to Psalms 139, verse 11 to 17? Ebu soma apo, especially verse 16. Alikujua ukiwa kwa tumbo ya mamako, can you go back there? Motivate yourself with that. Eh? To next time, next week, we shall come and talk about somebody very important in the Bible who faced the drowning, but then Hakuacha could drown into the things he faced. So let me let me come to a conclusion of the word of God. We were learning about drowning. See you next Wednesday. This is celebration moment with the joy. This is the moment show brought to you by Hannah Wanja. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. 
celebrate your moment is the celebrate your moment with joy that's our youtube page don't forget to share like and subscribe see you next time bye bye